and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the first public sighting of Chris Watts' mistress, Nicole Kessinger. Thank you so much for coming out here with me, Christopher. I am having a wonderful time. You mean a lot to me. And I'm glad that you're having a blast. I am so out of breath. <laughs> now, it has recently been reported this year that Chris Watts' mistress, Nicole Kessinger, has been spotted in public for the first time. She was seen in February 2021 at an unknown supermarket in Colorado, America. Now, what I find most shocking about this, if this is actually Nicole Kessinger that's been spotted, and I am going to include more photos for you so you can look at them and see what you think. I personally do think it's her. What I find most shocking is that she's still in Colorado. It's the same state where Chris Watts carried out the Watts family murders, where he savagely murdered, brutally murdered his pregnant wife, Shanann, who was pregnant with his unborn baby son, Nico, and his two beautiful little girls, Celeste and Bella. How he could do that, I still can't get my head round. How Nicole Kessinger could find him attractive and fall in love with him, I can't get my head round either. But how Nicole Kessinger can think it's okay to go out in public, I know it's been two and a half years since the murders, but... I find it unbelievable. She doesn't look much different. She's still got a similar hairstyle, still wearing the same old sunglasses and still wearing a very similar across body bag that you see her having in the police interviews that's placed on the table in the police interrogation meetings that I've shared with all of you guys. Now, if this is Nicole Kessinger, why has she not changed her appearance? Why is her hair still the same colour? Why is she still wearing the big bug sunglasses? Why is she still wearing the same style handbag you know wouldn't you at least dye your hair cut your hair change your hairstyle not use the same type of handbag maybe wear different sunglasses give yourself a whole new look if you don't want to be spotted in public i really find it weird if you're nicole kessinger that you'd go out without a disguise on about this after I've shared these photos and you've all had a good old look at them is what do you think do you think this is Nicole Kessinger I know we can't be certain I think it is and what do you all think about the fact that she's not moved out of Colorado that she's still living in the same state as Chris, as where Chris Watts carried out the murders you know in the police interviews it's clearly said by the police officer that it's probably a good idea if you change where you live move to another state America's a very big place move away no one wants you. I know he doesn't actually word it like that, but it was obvious that the people of Colorado, especially in the resident area of residency where Chris Watts lives, the town or village, people wouldn't want her around. I find it hard to believe she's got the cheek to still be in Colorado. I was under the impression she'd gone into the witness protection scheme. Now, I know that wasn't offered to her at first after Chris had carried out the murders, but she is eventually offered it when it becomes a worldwide case that everybody's interested in and everybody knows about. Perhaps at the time of the murders in August 2018, the Colorado police couldn't have perhaps fathomed how big a case this was going to be and how much press and media interest there would be in this case. Something else that we've all found out is that Nicole has recently changed her name. It has taken her quite a long time to go through the process of changing her name, but she is now not known as Nicole Kessinger. What she is known as, I don't know, but what we can say is that she's still living, we think, think, not certain, not 100% certain, but we think she's still living in the Colorado area. How awful. I'm pretty certain that Shanann's family didn't live in Colorado. They lived in a different state in America. So thankfully for them, they don't have to be anywhere near the woman. But for the people of Colorado, for friends of Shanann and friends of her children, Celeste and Bella, that lived in the local area, it must be really awful to know that you could be out at your local supermarket buying your weekly food shop and Nicole Kessinger walks past you. I mean, God, woo! It'd be pretty awful if that happened, wouldn't it? So guys, this is just a quick update on Nicole Kessinger. 
the fact that I found out she's been spotted in public for the first time in two and a half years. I'm pretty certain it's her. Do you think it's her? Give me your thoughts. I'd love to know your thoughts as always. I'm really enjoying doing this true crime YouTube channel. I know I haven't got as much paranormal stuff out as I wanted to. I've been focusing on the true crime, but I am going to make sure there's an element of paranormal on here too for you paranormal fans. Anyway, guys, I hope you're all keeping safe. As I said, I'd love your comments on this. Do you think this is Nicole Kessinger or whatever she's known as now in the photos? Do you think she's got a cheek being out in public, having not changed her appearance at all? And do you think she should still be living in the state where her lover, Chris Watts, murdered his wife, unborn baby son and two young daughters? Anyway, guys, I hope you're all keeping well. I'll have more videos out over the next week. I hope you're all enjoying them and I'll be back with you very soon. Take care now, guys. Bye-bye.